Today, we're going to try to fix this broken down thing. Now you might say, Trish, why are you trying to fix that broken down thing? Well, it's because I think I can. Now, this broken down thing wasn't broken when I got it. It was new. I loaned it to a friend. She went out on a very windy day, put it up. It broke. The wind blew it over, broke right away, and she took it down. So, ever since then, I've been tying up with duct tape and whatnot every time I put it up. Hi, Chowder. But more recently, we had some rain, and it came down, and I haven't had time to fix it since. But I did go out to the store, and I bought this piece a thing that I think might be able to be used in place of the broken bar and I think it is long enough to replace it right long enough to replace it so that's what I'm gonna do so in order to do that I gotta punch a hole somewhere where this is gonna go in I had already looked and seen that these look like they can come out so hopefully that will be okay. Um, I'm not sure exactly how this repair procedure is going to go or if it's going to be successful. As you can see, I tried reinforcing it from the inside and then taping things together so that whatnot, it didn't work. But we're going to try again. And if this doesn't work, well, maybe then we're done. Or maybe we're back to duct tape. Step one, identify the tool. So it looks like this will be able to be used to unscrew this from here. And then I will need to take these out, which I don't believe that they're providing any real support right now. <laughs> you think? <laughs> and then I will cut off the duct tape, or maybe I'll cut off the duct tape before, and then try to cut the new bar to the right size. So, and figure out how to punch the hole. Now the new bar is not as strong as these. Right? Although it still seems like it has some good strength to it. So we'll see how that goes. Also, it may not, it may need to be flattened a bit. I don't think so. I think it'll go in, but we'll see. This may be easier than I think, or it may not. First, we'll cut off the duct tape, okay? Okay, that was easy enough. Cut the duct tape off from the parts that are going to stay on it. Now, uh, the thing I need to do is make sure I get the right measure for the bar. So I'm going to go measure that now. Okay, so we're measuring. And it, it's 39 and a half inches. So now I'm going to measure this bar. So this is actually a curtain rod and these are actually two sliding pieces in the rod. So I'm thinking that maybe I can turn one of them the other way or just leave it that way and then put the hole into two, the two pieces because what that will do is it will provide additional strength. So now I have to make sure that I can get the length out of each one of these, or at least try to do that. I've just verified that certainly I can get the length that I need. I think it's 39 and a half inches out of each one of these. And like bonus, I still get an extra bar. So let's see. This, this may be easier than I think, or it may not. We have this tool in the garage. And I believe it is used for cutting metal. So we will try it to see if we can get a good cut without wrecking the bar itself. So I will just go test that out on the curved end right now. Actually, I have a video of that while I am cutting it. So the idea would be to take one of these do this here 
and just simply to cut it. Not quite. Didn't quite cut. And it's not very strong, by the way. It doesn't seem like it, so. Well, what's not very strong? Good question. Well, if I wiggle this, maybe it'll get cut. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, so that got cut. I don't know how much it would stand up to the wind when it blows, but... Huh. Alright, so cutting it is not hard. Punching the hole, I have to figure out how to do that. But let's mark where the hole needs to be punched first. So there is the hole. Here is what I just took off. It's a few washers. A uh, sort of screwy thing. A uh, plastic hole. Plastic support. Now this sort of looks weakened. I would be weakened too. Hopefully this doesn't go and wreck the whole repair thing. And then this on the other side. So we're going to work on uh, seeing whether this will now fit in that. So let me line up both ends. Great, so I just even them out so that it's stronger. Hey guys! I'm filming. Now we've got the hacksaw to cut it because um, I've been told that the other thing would sort of just compress it and it did. The um, what's it that I used? Here's the update. I got the JB Weld because I ex fully expect this is going to have a problem. It's got a crack already and so once I'm able to get this off, and insert it on the end cap of the other thing and get the holes in place and cut it to the right length then I am going to JB weld it and it takes a long time for it to set but it says it fuses metal and it fuses plastic and it's good for all kinds of things and so hopefully I'll be able to make this strong before I put it back on again that's the idea but first I have to get this out so now I'm I've gotten a lot of short things that I'm going to try jamming into the corners here in the hopes that it will prevent the um, the nut from spinning as I unscrew it from the other side because I don't want to, I mean, at first I thought I could just replace this but at the hardware store they don't know um, where I can get one of these um, end cap things so I'm just going to go with the JB Weld solution but first I have to take it off and then I have to measure, make holes, cut, and glue. And then I'll be able to put it back in place. Meanwhile, what a mess. I'm hoping we have a success story soon and that it doesn't lead to another failure that's happened because of, I don't know, stuff. Okay. Got this, I got my things, and I'm gonna try poking and turning. You can't see it because I'm I can't film and do it at the same time, so I'll just show you the result one way or the other. So we tried using these, but holding it over here um, still lets the nut slip. So now we're going to get some needle nose to try to insert the needle nose and hold them there and then do the turning. We got it off. It wasn't pretty. I had to hack off a little piece here and a little piece here, but I figured those weren't really necessary to the um, final strength, so good enough. Now we have to mark, fit, put holes in, and then reinsert. So, um, but first, um, I got things to do, so I'm going somewhere else. Later.
so I used the wrong saw. I gotta go get a new blade. This is the saw I should have used. It actually did work. The other one seemed so much easier because it had a thinner blade, but it was the wrong saw. Period. So before we um, drill, because I'd have to go find a drill, we're gonna try seeing if using a point and hammering in the designated spot will uh, solve the problem without bending the uh, pieces inside. So I'm going to try doing it on this side, which has one layer, and on the other side, which has two. So I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Kind of. Oh, it works. Okay. If it slips so well. So I'll do like that. Yeah, that works. Can go in. Yeah, this works. Hooray! Ugh. It comes out the other side. It worked! What do you have under the... The piece of wood. Good, because I want to make sure you don't damage anything. Okay, so we've established that we can go through the metal without uh, deforming the outside so that's good and we've got these screws we're going to try to just screw it in low tech to make the hole bigger once we get it going but i'm going to go ahead and punch this hole because i think that this one is ready to go so we know that this is a little off with regard to the length, it's like about a um, an eighth of an inch off, but that could be a big amount. And so we're going to do this hole first, and then we're going to figure out the end caps. Okay, but I'm not going to film this as I go because we've already seen this part where it will uh, it will go through. Okay, so we've gone through that much. And we're going to go again from this side. And then I will screw in one of these using the screwdriver over there and see if I can make the hole bigger that way. It occurs to me I should do this with my Simple Machines class. The uh, using of the inclined plane and the screw to uh, do work, right? Here I have this giant screw. But that seems to be about the right width diameter, I think. So let's try. Well, hmm. That's a good question. Yeah, I think that's the right diameter. So in order to use this one, which I think is the one that most best, most best fits, haha, <laughs> best fits, I have to use a wrench. So I got me a wrench. I'm gonna insert it, the point will let it go in there now and then start turning. And you won't get to see this either because, well, no tripod. This seems to be working pretty well. I'm impressed. So it's not quite wide enough. This goes in, but this doesn't. So what I'm gonna do is try to pull it out with the claw and maybe that'll rip some of the edges, hoping, and make it more easily accessible or create a bigger diameter for this guy. Let's see if that works. Looks like it hammered this in. It was too wide. Uh, it wasn't wide enough. Hammer this in. I bet it'll be good enough. Hooray! Did it! Okay, so now we're going to line it up here and this is where we get a little tricky because the ends have to 
work great. This had a little bit of a dent happening here, so a little bit not terrible. So the center of this hole to either end is 19 and 3 eighths. So I've checked the positioning and this closer in marking seems to be the right place. So that is 19 and 3 eighths. So that's where I'm tapping my next um, hole with this, okay? These end points bend pretty easily. So I'm sticking some screws in while I tap it to make sure they don't uh, go in and get dinged. Getting there. So now we have what I believe is an aligned set of screws. And now the end caps have to go on. And then I have to screw it on. That easy. So here we have this. So I'm going to put all of these on the outside. So that's what I'm going to do next. This looks acceptable, so we're going to leave this one as is and try to work it that way. This one looks like it doesn't quite fit, so I'm going to take a little bit off the end or bend it in so that this can fit on better. This last one eighth or one quarter of an inch, probably one eighth of an inch, is giving me a hard time. This little corner, I think, just needs to be bent down or gotten out of the way so that the cap can fit properly over the hole. But it's not behaving. Update. You may recall that I have broken the blade on the coping saw because it was a wood blade and I used it for metal. Duh. Um, this is the hacksaw, what I should have used. And I did end up using it after I broke the blade on the coping saw. And I am trying to um, cut this down a bit because it is a little too long and I don't know if I want to spend the time to take this, put this on to explain it to you, but the, um, the hole doesn't quite match up with the hole in the rod that we created. So I'm just going to cut, see I think these little nubs here are the problem, so I'm just going to cut those off using the hacksaw and see if that solves my problem. So we're going to whittle this away bit by bit. We're almost to getting to fixing this thing. It's been a few days, but here it goes. So I'm looking at this and estimating it at about a quarter inch. Okay, I think I have the right technique for cutting this. Just um, set it on flat and that helps to stabilize it so it doesn't move around. And then just saw into it. Okay, a little bit of a problem here because this one has room. This one, if I cut straight down here, I'm going to cut right through there. So. I will try to figure out what to do so that I don't cut all of this off and end up going through that hole and having a broken piece again. And we have success. There's a little bit of a blump there, so we'll have to push that out of the way, but I think that's pretty good. Hopefully it fits. Ah! Okay, I gotta clean up all this mess because this has got to be very sharp. And then we'll put the saw away, do the final screwing in, and test. Whew. I think I'm going to be returning that JB Weld because, although it's a great idea, um, I had to hammer these in, and I'm not going to weld it, JB Weld it before I get them in. And since I've gotten them in, I'm not going to take them off to weld it. Is I'll have to hammer them off. Or maybe I will. I don't know. This looks a little, like, really bad weak, especially since I pried off parts of it. So let me think about that a little bit. Ta-da! 
Ta-da! <laughs> I'm so excited. It works. It works. Well, it fit. And we're going to test it later. And I'm so excited. This is like one of my first major very awesome repairs. And Hope it lasts. Hope this thing is strong enough. Because it's still pretty weak, right? I mean, it might only last two setups or something. But even if it just lasts two and I dump the thing afterwards, I feel accomplished. Yay!